Okay guys, for my first video I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod via the CyanogenMod installer. In my case, I'm using the Nexus 10 tablet from Google, So, but either way this process shouldn't vary for all the supported devices by the installer. So whether you're using an HTC One or a Nexus 10 or an S4, it shouldn't matter really. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to settings. Then scroll down to about tablet or phone if you're using a phone. Tap your build number about six times. And then developer options will pop up. Go to that. Enable USB debugging. And then go to security. And then check unknown sources. It will ask you if you want to allow it. Allow it or else you won't be able to install the app. And then open your web browser. And then go to get.cm slash app and then it will download the oneclick.apk in my case it says dash one because I downloaded this once already but either way open your notification bar tap the um, notification and tap install in the lower right hand corner and then it will install the application so you want to get out of here tap your app drawer button Tap Signage and Mod Installer, and then click again. Okay, um, actually, this requires that you well, it doesn't require, but I recommend that you do a backup before you do this. If you have not done a backup, all your data will be erased. If you do not know how to do a backup, I recommend doing a Google search on it. So it's just going to tell you that it's going to assist you installing Sandage Mod. You will need a Windows PC running Vista or later. XP is not supported. And then um, it's telling you that everything will be erased, so do a backup. Now tap begin. And then go close out of this. Go to settings. And storage. And click the little button up there, tap USB computer connection and enable PTP, switch back to the signage mod installer, and then it says continue installation in Windows by going to beta.get.cm in your web browser. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, let me note that it doesn't matter if you're rooted or unrooted or if your device's bootloader is locked or unlocked. The installer will do all of this for you so you don't have to do it. Now, first things first, you want to open your internet browser, whether it be uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox. So I'm just going to click on Chrome here, and then uh, wait for it to load up a second, and go to beta.get.cm. And then we already did steps one through three, so just scroll down to four and click here to download the installer. It's only it only works for Vista seven and eight. So if you're on XP still, I seriously recommend you upgrade because this won't work. So um, it's going to ask if you want it to update software on the computer. I'm gonna click yes, and it's gonna detect my device, and then it's gonna ask me to allow USB debugging. Then I'm going to click always allow from this computer and click OK. Now, it, OK, it quit uh, trying to uh, do what it was doing. And now it says everything is ready. So now I'm just going to click install. Keep in mind that it says you're about to install Cyanage Mod to your device. As part of this process, your device will be reset to factory settings. So everything's going to be erased. I recommend you do a backup before you do this. And let me say that I am not responsible for anything that happens to your device, whether it gets bricked or whether you drop it in the toilet or whatever. I am not responsible for it. You are doing this by your own self. Now let me just click install. Now it's going to install the recovery software on your device. Uh, I'm going to close Chrome now since it's no longer required to be open. 
And then it's going to reboot your device into bootloader mode. And then it's going to reboot again. It's still installing the recovery software. Uh, and your blue signage mod SID logo should pop up now. And now it is installing the operating system, which is signage mod itself. This can take a minute, depending on how fast your computer is. Mine's pretty fast, so it shouldn't take too long. Also, the recovery it is uh, it installed is Clockwork Mod, so if you prefer Twerp, um, you can install that via Goo Manager or some other utility. I may do a video on how to do that later, I haven't figured it out yet. Now it says installing operating system waiting for device. So just uh, let it be for a second. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. Uh, it should have rebooted into Clockwork Mod by now. Now it's installing the system applications and the device has rebooted and once again you should see your blue SID logo. This part shouldn't take too long. Now it says installing system applications, waiting for device, and now it has rebooted into the bootloader. Now it says finishing up, just a few more moments. This might take a bit, so just let your device be. And now it says, installation complete. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Cyanogen Mod. We hope you enjoy your new mobile operating system. Um, and now it says, while you wait for your device to boot, take a moment to share your experience on the Google Play Store, which uh, they want you to rate the app on the Play Store, but since it's not on the Play Store anymore, you can't really do that. Uh, Google has removed it from the Play Store and hopefully uh, Cyanogen can get it back soon. That way it'll be easier to download this. So I'm just... Uh, then once your device reboots um, it will bring you to a setup screen which the uh, steps are pretty self-explanatory and I can't really walk you through them since I don't have a uh, camera and it requires me to do a screen capture on the device and I can't do that without an app so um, now just let your device reboot and signage mods should be installed thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe if you have any comments questions uh, please post down below and I will do my best to answer them